Okay, guys. Now, let's gonna think about sometimes really hard. You hold the ball flat bell and keep the guy on the floor. By the way, it's really important we realize why you have to hold the guy like this. If you hold the guy here, and you know in the same level his abs, the guy is still sitting up. So it's not a point. That's why, guys, you have to hold against his chest, your hands. That is really important as well, guys. Don't hold just one lapel and your elbows like this. Okay, so it's really important. We keep and hold the both lapel and your hands against his chest. Okay, but sometimes the lapel is like this, not comfortable. You can't, you know, tie his gear, make him comfortable you hold. Sometimes it doesn't work. So then, you can hold like this, underneath his armpit, hold as tight as you can, then now I'm just going to stand up. I'm going to put my head against his abs, then I'm going to stand up. Why I'm going to use my head against his abs? To help him to stand up, and plus to don't let him sit up. Because maybe if I'm just trying to stand up, he's going to move his up. But once when I put my forehead, help me to stand up. Once I stand up, guys, I'm gonna start walking back from, and put my knee against his under his hip. Once when I feel my knee under his hip, I'm gonna start holding his belt and push it up, push it up, and he's gonna open. Most of the times, go close. If you feel the guy have really strong guard, you're just gonna put your knee under his hip and gonna put your other leg on the floor and the strong base. Eventually, he's gonna open his guard. Once when he opens his guard, both hands together in. And now I don't wanna lift him up. Sometimes the guys really have, you're just gonna walk him forward. Now you can reach his hands, his lapel. Turn in as deep as possible. You can use your left hand to help you. Now I'm gonna put my weight against his throat. Put my elbow down, hold under his hip, and get him in the choke. If the guy look, then you pass. One, two, three. What's it up? Try to find the room for your knee. What's what you have, what you feel? Just push it down. Then the knee can pull. You open his guard. Now both knees in. Knee on the floor. Make your shoe have comfortable grip and strong grip. Walking forward. Now become really easy. You hold, you reach his lapel. Once you have, big thumb. The thumb in. As tight as possible. I'm gonna lift up my opposite leg. The same level as his hip. Now my left hand I'm gonna hold behind his back. Then I'm gonna throw, I'm gonna use his knee against his forehead. That's my goal. Okay, so if the guy look like this, it's most of the time that the guy will be like this. Once when I do, hit that. Okay, so I'm gonna use my elbow low as possible and they're gonna use his hip against his face. They hit that. The only way to stop this, he's gonna he have to look to the sides. Once when he looks to the sides, I can't choke him, but I be able to put my hip forward and pass his guard.
Foi? Foi, joelho agora. Segura aí agora. Ok. Uhum. 